Hello Scorpio, welcome, it's Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. I hope you're all well wherever you are. This is your reading for the 2nd through to the 8th of May 2022 or thereabouts. It could resonate a little bit beyond that time. But um, I hope you're all well and uh, uh, you know things are going in the right direction for you. Um, but in any event we'll see what the energies want to say to you at this time um, to a greater or a lesser degree. All right, um, it is a general reading, Scorpio, so it will resonate with some, but it won't resonate with everybody. So please take what resonates with you um, and leave the rest behind. All right, so let's see, let's get into your reading now, starting with a couple of overall energies. So what do we have for the lovely Scorpio, please, at this time? What do we have for the lovely Scorpio? What's important for Scorpio? to consider at this time please all right this card really wanted to be seen um, it's number 43 and this talks about obsessions delusions um, self-interest in some respects so I'll just pop it back in um, and let's see what do we have for Scorpio please All right, we have number 25, and this, this is talks about things being misleading. Illusion, confusion, delusion, perhaps. Um, okay, let's see. We'll just put that. I'll just put it over there. All right. Um, and we have number 23, and this talks about providing shelter, looking after caring, providing shelter. All right. Nurturing, caring energy. All right, just put that to one side. So we've got some different sort of energies coming out at the moment. So let's see what's going on here, Scorpio. Right, what do we have for Scorpio, please? What do we have for Scorpio? The 2nd to the 8th of May, 2022. What do we have for Scorpio, please? What's important for Scorpio to consider at this time? Whoops, they all fell out my hand then. It's quite a big deck this one is, I expect it's not easy to manage but uh, it's lovely nevertheless. All right we have the heart of your reading here Scorpio. Um, what's on your mind at the moment? past influences, what you're thinking about, the future going forward and then something else that your guides spirit would like to say to you at this time. And at the bottom of the deck we have the Ace of Cups so this is a new beginning for the heart. It's either a deepening love, a deepening of a current love um, or this is a new love offer coming in, but something that's going to make your emotions flow over, something fabulous, something fantastic, something that's meaningful for your heart centre. All right, let's see. All right, let's get some clarifiers then. So could we clarify all of the cups, sorry, cups. Could we clarify all of the cards on the table, please, for Scorpio? Clarify all of the cups. I'm, in, I'm insisting on saying cups here because we've got that beautiful Ace of Cups energy staring at me at the top, at the top of the reading. All right, could we clarify all of the cards on the table, please, for Scorpio?
at the bottom of the deck, Scorpio, we have temperance, major arcana, significant energy. And this is about having patience, um, achieving balance and harmony within yourself and around yourself, but taking it one step at a time, one day at a time. So I'll just put that to one side. Okay, at the heart of your reading, Scorpio, we have your card. It's the death energy, death and transformation energy here. So here you are, you've come out right at the heart of your reading. And that's clarifying the Two of Swords. I feel, you know, this is about yourself having to make a decision now. Which way to go? You've come to a fork in the road. It's a difficult one. You've got your blindfold on. You, you could take off, but you're keeping it on because this is a difficult decision to face. All right. I feel also with, with the energy of death and rebirth, I feel... There's, there's something that has come to an end, Some, the, the door closed um, and a new chapter possibly getting ready to begin, um, which is what the death energy brings in, um, a, a clearing of some sort. But it means, you know, having to make a decision. And at the root of this, we've got the Seven of Cups and the Five of Rods. Um, the Seven of Cups, this is very much about um, thinking about opportunities that were there in the past, but realising that they were a mirage, that they weren't real, but still being quite taken and preoccupied with what you thought was real, but realising, I feel, that, you know, they weren't, although there was something that was solid here. Just something, but you but you didn't see that, but because you were pre, been preoccupied with other things that that weren't actually real, um, and the clarifier the five of rods. There's been the rods. There's been a power struggle. There's been a power struggle here. Um, wanting. Others wanting to have their opinion viewed creating discord, others believing that their values, their perspectives are the right ones and, and just wanting their voices to be heard. But it's caused conflict and power struggles, you know, and I feel that's what you are lamenting here. And they, these are the lost opportunities. Yes, and, and the past influences, Four of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. So in the past, somebody keeping something under lock and key, perhaps having to, um, for some of you, having to protect what you have and keep it hidden away. Um, but for others of you, this is about somebody, you know, harbouring, keeping things away from you. Um, and clarify the Five of Cups. So... Um, the Five of Cups, again, is grieving over what's gone, having lost something. Um, so very, very similar energy to the Seven of Cups here, very similar in, in energy. Um, so here it is again, um, you know, you know um, being so sad and preoccupied with what's gone and not being able to see what else is on offer here. But, but when you're underneath the dark cloud, it is difficult to see any positivity. And it's to do with something being kept under lock and key, being something being kept hidden. And then power struggles and a need and they currently a need to make a decision which way to go. Because I think something a door has closed, so something has ended. Um, but it's a transformation energy, so it's about what what do we do now? What do I do now? It's that sort of an energy. Okay. So what you're thinking about, you're thinking about the lovers and the page of cups. So what you're thinking about, I feel um making a decision within a relationship but you're also thinking about a new love opportunity here 
And I feel here it is. This is the new love opportunity. That's going to fill your cup again with that lovely, beautiful love and emotion. But there's a decision to be made. Going forward, we have rebirth and the Knight of Rods. There's going to be a time of rebirth going forward for you. This is the judgment energy. So, you know, standing up to be counted, casting off your cloak of, 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 of doubt and insecurity, um, casting off that which has gone now, is no longer serving you, and rising up like the phoenix rising up from the ashes. Um, time of rebirth going forward. Uh, clarified by the Knight of Rods, the Knight of Wands. Yeah, so this is very much about movement and change. Possibly moving house, moving home, change of environment. Um, but certainly the Knight of Rods brings in movement and change. Dyn dynam di I can't say it. Dynamism. Dynamism. I can't say it. Um, excitement and passion. Lovely energies for going forward for you there, Scorpio. Um, and yes, yeah, so and what your guides, your spirit wants to say to you is the Seven of Pentacles on the Four of Rods, the Four of Wands. Um, something has matured um, and has grown as much as it possibly can grow. So this is you harvesting from that your share, just what you need, just taking what you need from something that's finished growing now. And I feel it's to do with the relationship. So, you know, cut it, cutting free. And then going going forward with like-minded souls. Um, this is the 1111 energy and this is about being on the right path. Being on the right path going forward. But you're going to be going forward with like-minded individuals. You're not going to be on your own. But you have to cut yourself free first, I feel. And take what is, you know, yours to take. And, and no more. I think that's what the Seven of Pentacles energy is saying. Because this is something you've been growing and working hard with. Um, and you're just wanting to take what is rightfully yours now. And then move on. Just watch out for this misleading, illusionary energy around. You know, whoever or whatever that's referring to. this is because you have not just yourself to support but others to support here Scorpio for some of you it's just fell down Right, Scorpio, finally we have the wandering path, enjoy the journey, and wondrous universe, walk in beauty. So the wandering path, this has been at the beginning of your new journey now. So there's the map, and there's the compass. So and, and what the universe is saying to you is enjoy the journey with all its twists and turns, uphill and down dale. You know, and this is this is all part of our learning and life experience uh, in this particular lifetime. And the universe wants you to enjoy the journey. You're learning such a lot, Scorpio. And uh, yes, wondrous universe, look, walk in beauty. You know, the universe has your back here. And this is the universe guiding you, Scorpio. It's beautiful. 
all right i'm going to leave it there this is your reading scorpio it won't be for everybody but it certainly will be for some and i'm, I'm sure whoever it's for you'll be able to see your story here but i hope you found the reading useful and meaningful and um, good luck going forward and until next time bye bye for now